Okay, I'm Sovereign Sage, and we're going to be looking at Kasue's uh, abilities today. Um, so, he's one of my favorite characters, but I think we all know this. So, for his character image phrase, it is a vow destroyed in a single sweep, which translates into Hagen Ichibo. Um, so, his Giga Basura title, or artwork image, is a urn splitting water, or, or his title is urn splitter. But the image is a pot spilling water. I can show you that right now. What? Okay. So that's what his Giga Basura looks like. So, um... His title is Urn Splitter, and then the image is just a pot spilling water, which is actually an urn, whatever. So he's he is voiced by Nobuhika uh, Okamoto. I think they changed it in Ukiden. I don't think it's the same guy. It's depressing. His, his, so his element is wind, and his blade is a Sakabanagi, which is a reverse bladed Daganata. So that's great. Um, I don't have his personal inscription, but it has to do with his square move. We'll get into that in a minute. Um, but it is called Four Layers. So charging up Sesho, which is sheer, Sesho means sheer plane. Uh, so if you have his personal inscription, all you got to do is hold square once and it'll take it to the third power. Because normally you would have to hold it, hold the button down until he glows. Because each time he gets powered up, you'll get like a wind ring around the blade and it goes up to three, I believe. Or I want to say close to four. Four. Sometimes it feels like it goes to four, but I think it's just it, it might be four or three um, However, if you have his personal inscription it, it just takes that automatically to the higher power You don't have to hold it down to show you what I mean um, If you hold square You see how it's already at the highest power as you can see the four rings here This is Sesho and this is called sheer plane so if you hold that down, it automatically charges to the highest power, and basically all this does is it makes him stack on. Please shut up. It makes all of his attacks faster and he and stronger, especially with his R1. If you have that completely charged up, um, yeah, it'll it'll stay. But also, if you hold square, it just does what I just showed you there. That's where it's confusing me. Four layers in sheer plane. It means the same damn thing. However, if you hold down square, which is what I was doing, um, it becomes Geometry of Emptiness, which is Kukio no Kika. I believe that's what it is. So if you just tap square, it does this. This is a square move. That's what I forgot to show off. I keep forgetting it every time. Each character has a, a, a string attack with the square button. Sakon had one as well, based on his different like stances, his kick stance or his bladed stance, and I forgot to show that off because I just forgot. Um, I have been forgetting it, but as you can see there, he did. He has uh, like wee wings. See how it's weaker now? Now watch when I charge it again. Three, four. Okay, now watch how it changes. See how there's more slashes. So that's all it all it does, Sesho Sheer Plane. By holding it down, you can charge it up, and then all of his attacks become stronger. So he's one of those characters that kind of has like two different movesets. He has one where it's weak, one where it's strong. All it does is it adds more little fancy slashes around all of his attacks. It doesn't really change them in that that's all that it does change, is it adds more screen slashes. And it feels like the attacks do get stronger. Um, so if you want to be like super stupid overpowered, just charge that up and it changes all of his attacks. They're more faster, they come out faster, and they're more like fancier to look at, I guess. So if you move on to his triangle move, this is quasi regularity of frustration, which is Zetsu. I think, uh, Zasetsu is frustration, so I think it's Zasetsu no Junsei, I believe. Triangle. See this? So what's, what I always screw this move up is he's supposed to go up and come back down into the air and I always have a hard time doing it. It's like a launcher. It kind of looks like his skill revision, the move that I'm thinking of, which I'll show you in a second. 
and it has something to do with him launching characters like that and then following them up. It's the follow up that I can never freaking do, so that's funny. So moving on to his direction triangle. So direction with triangle is the truncation of dread, which is Ifu no Setso, or Seto rather. Which is this, where he kind of goes forward like. So if you charge it up, it changes. See how it's faster and he goes longer? <laughs> okay, so moving on to his R1, like I said, you want to charge that up because it does change his attacks. He does go a little farther on this than he would normally. So I'm going to be showing you both of what it looks like with and without that. So if you move on to his R1, it is Relativity of Powerlessness, which is Mur <laughs> Mu Ryoku no So Tai. So let's see if I can do this. So it's wearing down, hold on. Okay, now watch when I charge it, the fourth power, it changes. Okay, now this is what it looks like. See how much cooler it looks? So all of his attacks do change. They do change based on if he is fully charged up or not. Keep that in mind, by the way. Because you might be like, oh, I remember it looking more fancier. It's probably because you're not charged up and it does go down over time. As you can see, if I have him stand here, you see how the waves go, like the wind, how it's like, shh, shh, shh. See, that's it powering down. You cannot stop that, by the way. It goes down on its own. Even with his personal inscription that makes you start at the highest level with that, it does still go down over time. It, you, you don't get to permanently keep that, that he would become an overpowered broken character if that were to be the case. So, if you move on to his L1 plus triangle, it is the G-Generacy. Yeah, G-Generacy. It's like d -gen -RC. I can't really speak. Anyway. d -gen -RC of Anguish, which is Hitan no Shukuju, I think? Let's see here. It's the slow it is. So what's cool about this, his L1 and triangle, if you move the joystick and move him around, he'll auto-charge, so it's like this. You. Like, see when he glows green? That's me charging it. Yeah. It only goes to three. No, yeah, it only goes to three. Yeah, it only goes to three. So that's what that is. But if you tap the joystick to the left and right, it's kind of hard to pull it off, of course. But if he glows green, that considers to be a charge. You can only do that three times. So... That's fancy. Um, moving on to his R2s. His skill revision, by the way, um, I don't know what it is called. It does not have a name, but it's basically this. And then you can hold it and come down. He just goes up into the air, and then you can hit triangle to come down. So yeah. Or his R1 can also be used in midair, so you can go like this and then like this. Yeah. He can't finish it like that, but he can attack. He, he does the main part of it. So if you look when he's on the ground here, now watch his slashes with his R1. See how it goes like up, down, like he does like a square? He can do that in midair. See, it's the same slashes. The only thing is he cannot finish with a square box around him. He cannot finish with a box, but he does the exact same slashes that form a square. So that's great. See? It's the same. Fancy, fancy, fancy. Alright, so if you move on to his R2s now. So I believe this is called Spiral of Agony. That all depends on if I have these in order. I hope I do. Yeah. Yes, I do. Okay, so this is Spiral of Agony. Kuma no Rasen. So if you gotta hold down R2 and you hold it down, and he'll let it go on his own. So you just hold it. Look at that. It's a portal to my life! Woo! That's pretty. I like that. Hawaii get off. Hawaii get off. He says it. 
So, um, Apex of Despair, I can't actually show you this attack unless I am near an enemy, but this is called Setsubo no Choten. Basically, he walks up to an enemy, everything turns gray, he puts his blade, uh, his naginata up to their neck and, like, pulls it and slashes them, and it can be an insta-kill, depending. Well, I'll get up to an enemy so I can show you that in a minute. So, this one here is called Definition of Wandering. So, this is where I say his charge comes into play. It changes the speed. So, this is called Hoku no Tegi. And this changes based on if he if his shear plane is charged to the fourth level or not. If it is not charged to the fourth level, which it isn't. Sakon, please shut up. If it's not charged to the fourth level, it becomes this. See how weak it is? It's really weak, and he's really slow. I wish they would stop talking. So, to cancel this, you have to hit R2 again. So that's what it looks like when he is not charged. When he is charged, it's more faster, and it looks like this. <laughs> Woo! Now we're moving. But then it slows down, so it's kind of pointless. This is awkward. Like, can you imagine walking down a dark hallway and you just see somebody flying at you like this? I'd be like, what the hell is happening? Yeah, this is weird. There's something awkward about this. I mean, it's cool, but at the same time, how could he physically do that? It's kind of creepy. He's like, I'm helicopter man. Helicopter man, coming at you as fast as I can. Uh -huh. So cut to it. Stop flying around on the water and get to work. Okay. Uh -huh. <laughs> so he has a taunt, yes? It's like this. It's Creeper. It sounds like he's trying to ASMR me. Everything he says sounds ASMR to me. I don't give a shit. Hold on, let me see here. Can I... Go through the void, go through the void, running as fast as I can. It is dark in the green mountains, unfinished over there. I'm running around, gotta get to the castle, gotta get my feet off the ground into the water. Oh. Yeah, I, I gotta... Yeah, I can't. Okay, hold on. Okay, do... That looks sadistic. Looks like he's staring at me when he isn't because the way his bangs are cut, it looks like his eyes are staring at you when he's looking down at his hand. That's creeper. Oh, I don't know how I feel about that. Don't know how I feel about that at all. Mm -hmm. what did you do? Hold on. It's gonna stop me for a second. Just auto spin. Please let him go. ちゃん、オッケー。いや、ちょっと。さ、オッケー。いや、ああ。なんかあんたと合わせやすいんだよな。かっこいい。ゲラウェイ、ケイ。お前こそせいぜ。ちゃんちの気を晒さぬよう心
Oh, you couldn't even you couldn't even see that. Look at that. <laughs> that is creepy. No, I am becoming one with KT. No, no, no. Trying to get out of the ground. I'm gonna have to show you what it looks like again. I used to be a warrior like you until I decided to fuse and become one with my ally. Hey, Araya. Like, really, KG? Really? Strike one, strike two, hit the blue. You know it's true. What am I even doing? I have no idea. Oh. Yeah, they're broken, by the way. Once you come back here when you're not supposed to be here, you can sequence break them. I think the only way to get them to attack you is if you taunt them. So, yeah, that's great. Otherwise, you can't... I don't think you can kill them. It's the sound of his feet on the ground. Yeah, so their, their AI is disabled. The only way they'll do something is if I taunt them. What's he doing? Are you active now? Are you active now? How? Oh! It will not be attacked by myself. So that's his solo boss throw. It's pretty cool. He is invincible, so I'm not gonna put up with that nonsense. Oh! It's not fair! So, um, I can't finish this stage. I sequence broke it. I died, but I saved it before KG died, but technically that was a death. <laughs> that was embarrassing, Hazakashi. <laughs> okay, well, we're going to ignore that that happened. <laughs> he didn't see nothing. Oh, it was a demonstration to prove that this is not easy. All right, so, on to weapons. I believe the version are the one that I'm using right now. I think it's, is it the hurricane one? Or, no, no. No, I'm using Reverse Naginata Surin, uh, Surin. So S-U-I-R-A-N, so Sui Ron. Yeah, uh, I hit the wrong button, crap. So this is the one I always use, this is the one I like. So this is his default outfit. I actually like his default outfit, it's cool. And then we have his alternate that makes him look more like a villager kind of in a way, or like an archer actually. Um, I like his alternate too, it's cool. I like his alternate a lot. Um, and then you have this one, this is the Tanka Metal outfit. It's just called the tricolored version or variation. Uh, yeah. He also has another version of his outfit, it's at the DLC that makes him uh, have Nagamasa's colors. So it's like his, his armor, it's like this, it's his armor, this version here, but it's, it's uh, silver and red. Um, they're trying to make him look like Nagamasa with that, and I don't actually have that DLC. I think I have it in Ukiden, though. So this one here, this is called his Reverse Naginata Whirlwind Gold. And this one here is called the the Path of Manga. I don't know why it's called that. Probably because it's a damn ink pen, which is supposed to be like a drawing tool that they use. Um... And that's what this one is called. It has a wing on one side. It's very weird. Um, this one here. Um, I believe this one is called Reverse Naginata Hurricane, I think. I think, unless I could be wrong. Let me look at the kanji for a second. Um, 
Yeah, because that symbol on the end is Fuma, which means wind. Um, or not Kaze. Kaze is wind. A uh, Kaze. So, um, yeah, I think that's a symbol for winds, which hurricane. So, I think that this is his default blade. So, this is reverse blade Naginata Whirlwind. And then this one here, I believe this one is Gale. Or is it Gale? Or maybe I got it wrong. Maybe this one is the hurricane one. Hold on a second. Yeah, I, I got it wrong. This one is Gale. This one is Gale. This one is Hurricane. This one is weird. Looks like something you see in a British army or something. Not really. England army. Um, not sure where I'm getting at with this. And I believe this one is his reverse world when unsigned. So it's his default weapon, but it just turns the blades green and it gets like a pretty light blue turquoise like color like a blue color on the hilt so I actually like this one it's cool um, so again his element is wind I only have it on on the main weapon that I'm always using so I only have it here on this one so this is a uh, Suyuron so I always use this weapon here it's one of my favorites it's it's the coolest looking one in my opinion kind of reminds me of something from like Monster Hunter or um, Tokiden. So those are all of his weapons and outfits. I don't know if there's a short enough stage I could complete to show you um, his victory pose. I don't know if there is a short enough stage. I guess I can go to the Kaga Ansen Gathering of Maidens stage and see if I can do that. Yeah. The way she says that to make me lose my mind. Oh my god. So I could glitch my way through this stage to finish it faster. But I think it would break it too much. I just clear it normally. It also gives me an excuse to show off more of his moveset. Oh, at first she sounds like a damn cat. It sounds like she's chewing on something. Like she's eating something and she's like, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. I don't know who eats like that, but yeah. Yeah, Suruhime. Yeah, okay. Kill the tiger, kill the tiger, twisted tiger kaga. Kawaii? Who's cute? Is it, is it me? Oh, yeah, I'm adorable. Ah! Let me show you his, his unique resurrection stance. Taunting me, taunting me. Why are you taunting me? Stop, stop. Bouncer. Oh. That was a death. I screwed it up. There's a certain way you have to kill her to get the other doors to open, but I'm gonna do a glitch. 
Now to Sora. Okay, yeah. She's there, but she isn't. <laughs> It's not like he said Kamikaze, it's like say God of Wind. Or no, that would be Kame no Kaze, never mind. Or Kaze no Kame. Screw it! He cuts the marble, gonna blow you up! Oh, oh, oh. That Katsuki Maru is so great. Now, Torasama, I am a worthless, pathetic individual. All, 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 all. All right, we're gonna have to glitch through the wall again to see if I can get to Maria. What kind of a scream was that? Are you ah, skip you. She's so angry. She's like, what? Maria. <laughs> Please stop with the good nonsense. I will slap you. <laughs> She's here, but she isn't. I have to go defeat Maguichi to uh, get Maria and Naotora to get out of bounds. Because technically, Maria is there. She has spawned, but she's temporarily in a ghost form. So the only way she'll actually truly show up is if I defeat Naotora. And the only way to defeat Naotora is to get uh, Maguichi. So what's funny about this is if you look at the mini map on the upper right of the screen, you can see that little red helmet moving around. That is now Atora. She's technically free and out of bounds right now. So she's probably lost. KG, please. KG! Oh my god. There we go. So she's technically in front of me right now, but I can't see her. She's like a ghost. She is really there, but it's gonna take me a second. Magoichi really is here, though, right there. Hey! I can't. Woman is a ghost! Watch me waste all my ammo like a retard. Waste, 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 waste. I don't know why she tries to make her voice deeper than it really is. I don't know why women do that. They make their voices sound deeper than they really are. It's like, who are you impressing? I don't think a man wants a woman who sounds like a man herself. Where did, she, where did she go? Mago? Kichi? Psycho get bombed! Psycho get gnawed! I kill you! She's like, I used to be a warrior like you until I had a bomb dropped on me. I'm clearly out in an area I'm supposed to be hovering above the ground. Uh 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 uh. Now Atora's there. Yeah, she's really there now. She's like, you broke me out of bounds! Mm -hmm. I can never get to that wicker chest up there. Holy crap. Special power activate! You cannot escape my diamond green face. Get over here. <laughs> 
この私はダルおや、あなたは彼の2つの R2 を見つけたことがあるのかそんなに返り討ちにされたいかその目にあなたは強いガラス四つずめほどにおぞましくはない<笑> She has help with that little woman over there. So no many. Ah, die. What does she want? This is the fakest laughing I've ever heard in my life. <laughs> Maria's coming right for my sweet ass. I better do something. What is she doing over there? <laughs> you just see her out skipping by with her cloth in the background? What is she doing? She's like, she's just over there just. Oh, I see what happened. She's stuck. She's like, I'm coming to get you through the door. Maybe I can reach you also. Unable to reach. Access denied. Sounds like he's ASMRing so hard. Dude! <laughs> she didn't like that. <laughs> she was like, screw that. She can catch me from a distance. I want to be careful. That right there. Yeah. Dodge. Sick dodge, sick block. Stop pulling an Okuni. That's what she kind of reminds me of. Oh, it's a Basura in gray, black, and white. Oh my god. Yeah, yeah catch Keiji. Don't catch me. I better save him. Okay. That's fine. So no many. I want to catch you. You're like a Pokemon, and you must be caught. I want to catch her with it so bad. It's just not working. So no many. Aha. She's like, but how? <laughs> Better take a nap on the ground. Better take a nap on the ground. Napping. Oh, uh, yeah. The diamonds remind me of the water. No, it reminds me of the that one stage in The Legend of Zelda Ocarina of Time where you meet Sheik in the ice caverns and he, she teaches you the uh, water temple song. Not the water temple song. Actually, it is the water. It's a 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 water. It's that I was kind of losing. I always wind up losing, so I'm always trying to do like a stupid special finisher move every time in every game that I play. And I keep trying to do it, that that's why I wind up dying. So I'm so focused on doing nothing but that damn attack and it keeps failing. And I'm like, yeah, <laughs> this is fine. No. All right. Um, that's pretty much everything I can show you and tell you about him. Um, he's one of my favorite characters. He's like really fast and really easy to use. He's a lot easier than Sakon. That's what she said. Um, 
There's really nothing else I can tell you. Um, except for, like I said, his attacks do change based on if you have Sesho charged up or not. So if you want all of his attacks to be faster and more flashier, I would charge that up first. I know that can be annoying. That's where his personal inscription comes into play. If you tap uh, hold square once, it automatically goes to the fourth level. Unlike here where I don't have it, I have to hold it down the whole time to charge it to the fourth level, therefore taking longer. But if you have his personal inscription, all you gotta do is hold it once and it automatically goes to the fourth level, so that's cool. Um, I don't have it though. I think it's like 5,000 Koban coins to even get that. I only have 2,520, so I don't even have enough to get his anyway. It's like a loud bass outside my house. I don't know what's going on with that. Somebody having a party out there? Somebody having a party in my own yard and I'm not invited? What is that nonsense? Let's see. Alright. No, my controller, I swear. Meow. 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 Give it all to Hanbei. Give Hanbei all the everything. Okay. So basically, that's him. Um, if I had the damn volume on, you would be able to hear his cool theme song, but I have it unmuted. So I have to fix that. I, I turn the sound off when I do these videos so that you guys can hear me better. Otherwise, it would be hard to hear me over the loud in-game music. It'd be ridiculous, actually. Um, uh, that's pretty much all I can say about him. I can't remember who I had as his partner. Screw it, sort of he may know. Um, so again, I guess thanks for watching if you did. I'm Sovereign Sage. That's really all I could tell you about Katsuya. He is one of my favorite characters, though. He's really simple and easy to use. Um, I also like his theme song. It's like really emotional filled. Um, I actually do like his song, his theme song. Out of all of the songs in the game, I like to listen to his a lot. It's really, I like his theme song a lot. So, um... I guess thanks for watching if you did. Um, like I said, I normally do four of these at a time. That's what I said in Sakon's video. But because it's taking me more longer to get these done, and I have to work on the characters beforehand, you know, like unlocking all of their 3R2s and stuff like that, um, I can't actually get to these as fast. So you might not see as many of these as you thought you would, because for a while there I was uploading like four at a time. I think I've already done at least eight, or maybe no. I think so, yeah. So I did Oichis, I did Tsurahime's, I did Kasuka's, I did Kenshin's, I did uh, Naotora's, um, I did Mitsunari's, I, now I did Sakon's and Katsuki's, I also did Hanbei's. Um, so I've done quite a few of the characters already. Um, so I've actually have done a lot. So I'm, you might not see as many of these. So there might be people waiting on a character that they like. I'll, I'm only going to do characters that I like. I'm not going to be doing everybody. I'm only doing characters that I like. Um, I think I had mentioned that before. Because um, there's some people that are still new to my channel who don't know. Uh, I do like a lot of the characters. Like, Kanbei's funny, but I don't like to play as him. Um, same thing could be said about Munoshige or Yoshiaki. I'm only doing characters that I actually like, that I actually play as. So starting from the top row, I like Motonari, um, I like Motochika, I like Sak- uh, Ka I was about to cross their names together. Uh, I like Sakon, I like Katsuie, I like Matsube. Um, Kanbei is okay, but I'm not doing his, I don't really care for Hideyaki. Tenkai, I guess we'll do his, but he's not really a character I really super like to play as, but he's okay. Uh, Nobunaga I don't like to really play as, as him either, but I most likely will do his because, come on, he's Nobunaga. Kojiro Katakura is cool. He's really cool. I like him. Um, I like his English voice in Samurai Heroes. It's the same voice as they use for the animated series. Um, like, he, he has a very certain voice. Like, Masamune. Like, I like it. So, um, and then we have Masamune. I already did his. Um, he's cool. Uh, Mitsunari is cool. I already did his. And then Ieyasu will be doing his. 
uh, Yoshitsugu Otanihi. I like him as a character. I, I like him more in Samurai Warriors, but I most likely will not be covering his. Yoshihiro Shimazu. He's alright, but I most likely I'm not doing his. Same with Tadakatsu Honda. I'm not doing his either. Sora and Ultimo, I'm not doing his either. I already did Hanbei's, but I like Hanbei a lot. He's one of my top favorites. Um, ah, Hideyoshi Toyotomi. I might not do his because I don't care for him as a character. If I do, it'll just be, be just be because because, but I really don't care. So, I said no Riku. I like him. Um, Ashikage Yoshiteru is one of my favorites. He's so freaking cool. So I most likely will do his. And Maria Kyogoku, I think I had already did hers as well. I think I'm pretty sure I did. Maybe I didn't. I think I could have sworn I did, though. Um, I like her. She's Nobunaga. Uh, not Nobunaga. She's Nagamasa's sister. So then Nagamasa's right here. Nagamasa is I. I'm going to be doing some stuff for him in story mode first before I actually do a moveset cover. So we're going to wait on that. But I'll, I'll be doing his. I also like uh, Matsunaga Hisahide. He's one of my favorite characters. He's so cool. He's so cool. Um, then we have Kotaro Fuma. I'll be doing his. Then I'll Ichi. I already did hers. And then Sh uh, Shinosuke, uh, Shika Nosuke Yamanaka. I might do his. I mean, he's okay, but I don't really play as him. But I might do his just because. Naotora E. I already did hers. I like her as well. Yukimura. I like him as a character, so we'll be doing him. I really like Sasuke. He's one of my favorites, so we'll be doing him as well. Um, Keiji. He's one of my favorites too, so we'll also be doing his. I like Muneshige, but I don't really care for him that much, so I will not be doing his. I will not be doing Yoshiaki Mogami's either. Uh, Matsu, I'll do hers. Toshirie, I'll do his. Shingen, Takeda. I don't really care for him that much, so I might not do his. If I do it, it'll just be just because, but I might or might not do that. I haven't decided yet. Um, Kenshin, I like his a lot. I had already did his, and I like Katsuka a lot as well. I already did hers. I like Tsuruhime a lot too. I already did hers as well. And then Magoichi Saika. She's a character that I used to like, but then I didn't. But then I do, but then I don't. She's one of those characters where I, I hate like. So, um, I'll do hers as well. She reminds me of a fucking One Piece character with her outfit and the way it looks. It's probably one reason why I stopped liking her. I don't really care for One Piece that much. I don't watch anime anymore anyway, so, um, but I, I like her because she's just, she's interesting in a way, but I think one reason why I truly stopped liking her is the way she treats Keiji in 3, the English one, Samurai Heroes, she, like, he, he says that he likes her and has affection for her, and she's like, fuck you, you lying son of a bitch, so, um, I didn't like the way she treated him, is all, and she, she acts like she's so super tough, and I, I hate that, so, um, like, when she goes up against, like, Mitsunari, she's like, I don't care, you're the Dark King or not. Like, I kind of like that, how she's tough, but at the same time, I feel like she overdoes it. Like, she acts like she's super hardcore. Oh, I'm super badass, and I hate that, so it's kind of annoying. Um, where a character tries to act like they're too hard or too tough or can't be defeated by anything or anyone, it's annoying. So, um, yeah, there's that. Uh, da, 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 da. I've got to turn the sound back on. So that's what I'm doing. But anyway, though, it's pretty much everything I can tell you about Katsuye. Um, oh my god. So thanks for watching if you did. Um, I'll get back to this on my own time. I just want to go back so I can show you his theme song. Because I keep saying I like it and people are like, well, what is it? So... I think what I might do is upload videos of the characters' theme songs. I don't know if I'll get in trouble for that. Uh, re I'll just record like three minutes or five minutes of their song and then I'll let it play out. So This is what his is. I don't know if I'll leave it on a screen like this so you can see the character or if I'll actually just... Uh... So I could always go like this, like this also and just have you stare at the character's face up close while their song plays in the background or if I'm gonna actually pull it from the actual video uh, music file in game which is like a rainbow color stage so I don't know about that I really like his theme song a lot
That right there almost reminds me of the bleach opening. This is not bleach, please stop. Da 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 Alright, well, thanks for watching if you did. I'm Sovereign Sage.